Hello and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Liberty Media takeover and the potential future of Bernie Ecclestone within Formula One. So, obviously the F1 Supremo Bernie Ecclestone has been in Formula One at the top of the management uh, as the uh, guiding uh, leader of Formula One since 1978. And it could emerge this week that Eccleston would be forced to step down as a result of Liberty Media's takeover yeah. of Formula One to have 100% assets in the sport as early as this week, potentially. As it, w it was announced uh, a few days ago that Liberty Media, uh, by the FIA, had been allowed to... Uh, take complete control of Formula One, which is going to allow for more progressive diversity, uh, allowing greater distribution of cash. Liberty already said uh, a, a couple of days ago that that Ferrari, if they when 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 they take over the sport, that Ferrari is historic money that they always get for being the longest standing uh, constructor in Formula One. Uh, will be severely limited or possibly even uh, eradicated altogether. So this is big, big news, you know. Ferrari obviously are not going to be very happy with this. Um, but Formula One, this is kind of the right steps. This is going to allow teams like Force India to be uh, further and further forward um, in terms of the Formula One grid. And th this is going to mean for better racing. Liberty also wanting to engage with the fans more, allow greater fan access on social media, potential coming back to uh, uh, free-to-air TV services. So th 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 these are the kind of steps that uh, Chase Carey is uh, uh, outlining already. So uh, th this is really positive for the sport. This is really positive for Formula One uh, going forward. Uh, in regard to Mr. Ecclestone, I think this is very likely that he's going to step away. Because Bernie's way of running Formula One is uh, a very dictatic point of view, um, whereas uh, Liberty want to employ a more democratic way of running the sport, and it's going to be very difficult if Bernie is like right, employ a new qualifying system. This isn't working. Whereas Liberty is like, is it working? Let's think about this. Shall we employ a new system? Is qualifying actually the biggest issue? Uh, which is going to be great for the sport, you know, great attacking the issues at the heart. And uh, further to this, Liberty Takeover is potentially going to add an extra injection to keeping the British Grand Prix alive, which is uh, fairly big news. It's been rumbling on for a few weeks. Nothing has been decided here or there. Uh, last week, um, uh, Derek Bell said it's, po it's probably likely that they will employ, but you know, with Liberty taking over, Liberty can be like, okay, right, this is a stupid clause, why should you be paying an extra 10%, and why would that mean that you'll have to pay £26 million in 2027, if, if this goes ahead, and with, obviously, Britain is the last country in the world with any money to be able to contribute to a Grand Prix, so, um, yeah, I think, you know, Liberty can help in that regard. They want to save classic venues. They understand the historic element. They said they're not going to Americanize Formula 1. So, personally, I think this is a great move. This is great for Formula 1. This is this is great for the future of the sport. And this is really what we need. Uh, okay, so that's basically the video done. Uh, just a couple of notes. Uh, I'm back at uni, basically. And uh, here I am in my room at Lincoln, so uh, this is what I do, and sorry there hasn't been a, a video this last few days, because I've been um, well, getting ready to come back, basically, so uh, uh, this story actually came out last week, about Thursday last week, but I haven't had a chance to do it till today, so uh, just just note on that, um, there'll be probably WRC review coming out tomorrow, so uh, w watch out for that, but thanks very much. And see you later. Goodbye.